Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. A lot of that severe weather dancing around where I used to live before I moved back here to the East Coast. It was definitely a rough night for the deep south, the plains as this cold front continued to slide eastbound. We're dealing with the warm front out there, the moisture associated with that here on Super Doppler 8. Still plenty of rain moving eastbound here across the valley. It is starting to break up a little bit, tapering in some spots. I think we'll still have to get through the early afternoon before we'll see a lot of this wind on down. And then we will catch a little break before that cold front moves in tomorrow. So make sure you grab the umbrella if you are heading out. We can see in terms of the fog, it is improving a little bit. At least visibility is improving, I should say. We're still down to two miles in Lebanon. The same for Harrisburg, one and a half at the moment in Carlisle. Not as bad as what we had this morning, but you'll still want to take it a little easier out there on the roadways, especially because we have rain coming down and we have the reduced visibility. Not the best combo to have if you're heading out there doing a little bit of uh, uh, running errands, so to speak, here for the afternoon. Here's our live look in the Red Rose City. Glancing eastbound, you can see we are socked in with the clouds. It's a gray, gloomy day, and that's exactly what we're going to have for the remainder of our Tuesday. Not much sun, maybe a couple of peaks possibly, but I think we're going to see uh, not much sun. Hard pressed to see too much of it here for the afternoon. We're at 50 in Lewistown, 51 degrees in Carlisle, upper 40s now in the capital city with York and Lancaster hanging out at 52 degrees. That's one plus temperatures are mild and we're going to stay mild until this cold front can push on through the Commonwealth. We're in the uh, going to be in the middle 50s to around 60 here for the afternoon. Mild as the rain starts to end tonight. Still can see a few showers watching out for some areas of fog as well with readings in the middle 50s to upper 50s. And then for our day tomorrow, we're expecting that cold front to slide through. Going to bring us some showers, I think mainly for the afternoon and evening. It'll be warm with highs back in the 60s, well above where we should be for January standards. That's for sure. Predictor shows that rain winding down here as we head through the remainder of the afternoon. Here's 3:30, getting home from school with Still a few sprinkles, same story for the evening drive home, 10 o'clock, a few showers, and that's going to be the case as we head through the wee hours of our Wednesday, but not much rain to start the day. There comes the cold front, 2.30 in the afternoon, bringing us some hit or miss showers, and they continue to work off toward the east as we head through dinner time tomorrow. And then I think we dry out a little bit, but with the upper level disturbance moving through behind this system, I think we're going to have the chance for a little bit of rain on Thursday, but chances aren't all that high. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures really dropping off as we head into Friday with that upper level energy moving through. May have a few rain or snow showers. Chances are limited, but another system moves in on Saturday and this disturbance could bring us some snow in the evening, and I think that may linger into early Sunday with a few flurries possible. Something to watch, but definitely turning more wintry here, Kate, as we head through the latter part of the 10 day forecast.